because me, I'm only doing it as a side hustle, <laughs> sabi mo nga. Uh, so, um, I'm earning more than what my paycheck is giving me. Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. Hi, my name is Noelle Padilla. I am a clinical nurse specialist working in London. Yeah, nice. And for today, uh, what we're talking about is side hustles and business for nurses. So um, uh, we call her, I call her Noy. No? We're, we've been friends for quite some time now, although matagal na ang tinaguan ni Noy. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh so, yeah, so Noe, can you tell me uh, about your business, your side hustle? What is it that you do? So um, I own a mobile franchise of Get a Drip. So Get a Drip is a company that administers intravenous vitamins and booster shots for health and wellness. So, but I only do mobile. So I don't have a clinic per se, but I go to people's houses to administer the drips. Us a bit of a is there any qualifications to to start a business such as yours? So, um, anyone can own a franchise like this, but for you to be able to operate it, you need qualified uh, licensed medical professionals who are trained to administer intravenous medications. Um, actually, me and my partner, we own we both own this franchise. Um, and she is not a medical professional, she's a licensed accountant, so she handles all the admin bit and I handle all the medical bit. Um, if anyone is interested, actually, Get a Drip now is looking for a franchisee, so if you are interested, you can go to getadrip.com. Right. So uh, can you give us uh, a little overview on what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? So day-to-day, uh, -day, normally initially it will start when a client will, will inquire. And then we will do consultations over the phone. Kung ano yung gyps na would be would be uh, good for them. And then once they book, then we will go to their we will go to their their homes to administer administer the gyps. Um, so normally, especially during weekends, we have probably five or we can do five to six clients a day, depending uh, because it's mobile. So you need to you need to allocate time para puntahan yung yung address nila. So normally the Administering the drips is very easy. It would only take about 40 minutes. Like if for one drip, it will take about 40 minutes. But to go to clients' houses because we, we administer drips everywhere around London, even sometimes even outside of London. We can even go outside Ken as far as. But uh, we would charge them a call-out fee depending on how far they live on top of the products that they that they are getting. Talk about uh, vitamin drips. You know? So can you give mm -hmm. us an example of what might a vitamin drip be? At saka, bakit, halimbawa, why would I require that service? Kasi baka yung iba hindi naiintindihan what kind mm -hmm. of service you provide. So our products, we already have some tailor-made products uh, that, that we have on our menu. So for example, we have energy drip. So on the name itself, it it has vitamins that will give you or boost your energy levels. Um, immunity drip for immunity. Uh, we so we have different, and then we can tailor tailors a specific drip for you depending on what you need. So most of our clients um, they are really deficient with vitamins. So no matter how much they take supplements or no matter how uh, how much uh, food they eat, hindi hindi na absorb yung vitamins sa kanila. So they really need. So they really need um, intravenous or, or, or intramuscular administrations. Um, 
it's also good for health promotion you know like especially nowadays during covid time everybody became very very conscious about their health so we we started everyone just started to to take care of their of themselves can you give us some perks of the job so yung perks of the job of course you are your own boss you you can do this at your own time and then at the same time because me i'm only doing it as a side hustle <laughs> sabi mo nga uh, so um i'm earning more than what my paycheck is giving me Uh, and then for me, because this is my this is a step towards me moving away from employment and owning my own uh, business. And my plan is to own a clinic and to to explore a different uh, different kind of nursing. So I because because I wanted to incorporate um, aesthetic nursing as well in this business. So it's a step towards that goal. Talk about the perks now. What would be like the challenges that people might expect with this kind of job then? Challenges, syempre in the beginning because I am new to this business and I am new to having a business, <laughs> running a business. Um, and and uh, this kind of business, kasi you need, people need to trust you. You need to develop a relationship with clients. Otherwise, they will not come again. They will not ask for you again. So in the beginning, yung challenges namin were, we don't know people who would want this. Um And, and then it was very difficult for us to juggle between um, our own time because we're working full time as well, me and my partner. So this is both our business. So uh, she's also working full time and I'm also working full time. So in the beginning, it was very difficult for us to balance. Uh, sometimes na meron ka talagang hindi na, na, na meron ka napapabaya ang isa, <laughs> either your business or your work. So yun yung, yun yung challenges in the beginning. And then Uh, putting up a business in UK, uh, and it's very difficult. You need to really research because in the beginning we don't really know anything about it. The laws about putting up a business, you know, yung how how do you pay taxes, how do you do the accounts and all that. So you really 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 need to research. Galeng, gusto ko yung sinabi mong part na yon, no? Kasi actually, alam mo yung mga karamihan ng mga pag Pilipino pag napag-usapan business minsan it's sort of like even taboo para sabihin paano ba mag-umpisa mm-hmm. or even when you talk about money medyo Filipinos tend to shy away and say oh this is how you could earn or this mm-hmm. is where you earn and this is how you make money parang ayo pag-usapan but this mm-hmm. is us trying to open up that world na ang nurses can do a lot more yeah. than the conventional uh, methods of nursing ikana now mm-hmm. uh, so uh, noy meron ka bang advice on nurses who want to start a side hustle or a business then yeah so if you want to st- Start the business, just go for it. I mean, everything has its risks. In the beginning, actually, ako talaga, I, I never planned to have a business. Um, it was just my partner who encouraged me. So, But of course, if you want to do a business, make sure that you do a business that you are really passionate about or you know something about. In, in the yung, like, kasi ako in, in the hospital, I... This is this is my 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 job my role really and I, I enjoy doing this as well. I enjoy going to other people's houses, meeting new people. Um, so for me, it's 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 sort of natural already. Uh, but um, when you put up a business, syempre you have to be realistic as well because kailangan kailangan mo ng kailangan mo ng money to start the business there would be a lot of risks you don't know if if it if itong business ba na to is magbo-bloom or you know you would fail but you know if, if this is really what you want um ju- ju- i think just go for it it is actually the first step that is difficult after that everything will follow na, everything will follow na. always remember manong knows <laughs> Mama knows best, put your worries to rest when staying in the United Kingdom.